Today in Crypto Cryptocurrencies continue to show strength, expanding their influence and presence across many industries. Just this week, the NBA agreed to its first cryptocurrency sponsorship deal with Coinbase, Nasdaq Coin, the publicly traded company that makes an exchange for crypto trading. According to a report by CNBC, the agreement indicates that Coinbase will leverage just about all the NBA's platforms including the WNBA, NBA G League, NBA 2K League and USA Basketball. The deal between the NBA and Coinbase comes shortly after the league commissioner Adam Silver explained that the league is projecting $10 billion US dollars in revenue for the 2021-22 season, a figure that is possible thanks to fans returning to NBA arenas which account for 40% of league revenue. In the meantime, sponsorships accounted for about used to 1,4 billion last season, according to valuation firm IG. ISW Holdings Inc. OTC, ISWH, IT Farms Limited, NASDAQ, BIT, BIT Mining Limited, NYSE, BTCM, Canaan Inc. NASDAQ, CAN, HUT 8 Mining Corporation, NASDAQ, HUT, overall. The cryptocurrency market has gotten even more complex as the blockchain technology has been integrated into our world. For example, one of the largest crypto exchanges, Coinbase, announced this week that it is delving deeper into traditional financial services, allowing users to deposit paychecks directly into their online accounts. With direct deposit, customers can more easily access our crypto-first financial services and be ready for any trade or purchase. Max Bransberg Vice President of Product at Coinbase, said in a blog post, We're determined to deliver the most trusted full suite of crypto-first financial services to our 68 million users. Information provided by financial news media. Email newsletter join to get the flip side of crypto upgrade your inbox and get our daily coin editors picks 1x a week delivered straight to your inbox. Contact Form 7, you can always unsubscribe with just one click. Continue reading on Daily Coin. Ripple CEO aired his opinion on the crypto market and regulations. Brad Garlinghouse said the US SEC granted Ethereum regulatory green light. At the DC Fintech Week virtual conference on October 21, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse aired his thoughts on the state of the crypto market and regulations. Besides, he holds a grudge over the financial regulator's approach to Ethereum. In addition, Garlinghouse declared that the US Security and Exchange Commission SEC, granted Ethereum regulatory green light that enabled it to surpass his firm's XRP token. Likewise, the Ripple boss feels that his firm has been played out. But, at the same time, Ethereum's subsequent success is at least in part down to more favorable treatment by the US SEC. Also, Garlinghouse stated that it is affecting its market. He said, within the last few years, XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. As it became clear the SEC had given a hall pass to ETH, ETH obviously has exploded, and that clarity has helped. Dot to clarify, XRP was the second largest crypto asset by market cap in late December 2017. But, currently, it has dropped to 7th place while Ethereum has kept the second spot ever since. Furthermore, the reason why XRP dropped is the US SEC pursuing Ripple over claims that XRP is unregistered security. In fact, in January, Ripple filed a Freedom of Information Act request with the US SEC demanding to know why it didn't consider ETH security. As a result, later in July, a district judge allowed the firm to depose a former official who declared in 2018 that ETH was not a security. Continue reading on CoinQuora. According to the CEO of American firm Robinhood, Nasdaq Hood, Vlad Tenev, the waiting list to subscribe to the crypto wallet exceeds 1 million customers. Following the approval announcement this week from the SEC, the new Bitcoin futures ETF has been unveiled on Wall Street. The Robinhood wallet will allow investors to buy, send and receive cryptocurrencies. Following the recent launch announcement of its crypto wallet, the Robinhood financial platform already has around a million clients on the waiting list. Meanwhile, Wall Street received the second approval for a Bitcoin exchange traded fund ETF, by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, on Friday. The announcement of the record number of Robinhood clients on the list was made by Vlad Tenev, 
CEO of the controversial U.S. firm. This reinforces the market sentiment about the importance of digital assets today. We're very proud of our cryptocurrency platform and giving people more utility with the coins they have, said Robinhood CEO of La Teneva on Thursday, while participating in an event organized by CNBC called Disruptor 50. Teneva added that the company had decided to implement a waiting list. A lot of people have been asking for the ability to send and receive cryptocurrencies, transfer them to hardware wallets, transfer them onto the platform to consolidate and the Crypto wallets waitlist is well over a million people now. The initial announcement regarding preparations for the launch of the trading firm's crypto wallet was made in September. Customers who sign up for the wallet will be able to trade cryptocurrencies in and outside the app. Currently, the digital currencies offered by Robinhood are Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin SV, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Dogecoin, and Litecoin. Tenev said that its wallet offers certain advantages that are in the technology that make it kind of global and accessible by default and that makes it very interesting. Through their wallet, users can directly send cryptocurrencies to other people. Robinhood started trading digital currencies three years ago, but now the sector occupies a very prominent place in the company, to such an extent that, in the last quarter, just over 50% of the company's transaction-based revenue came from trading crypto assets. The Robinhood wallet will incorporate the functions of trading, sending and receiving digital currencies from the wallet itself, a service that rival companies Coinbase, Nasdaq Coin, and Gemini already offer. The launch of the second Bitcoin ETF The announcement for the Friday 22nd debut of the Valkyrie Bitcoin strategy ETF on the Nasdaq was made by Bloomberg's principal ETF analyst, Eric Balkunas. I had said this was launching TMRW it's actually going to be on Friday. Sorry about that, wrote Balkunas on his Twitter, NYSE, TWTR, account clarifying his previous tweet. The launch of a third ETF linked to Vanek BTC Futures, is expected on Monday, October 25, which will begin trading on the New York Stock Exchange. The SEC released the prospectus for the company's ETF on Wednesday. Both the SEC's approved Valkyrie and Vanek ETFs are eagerly awaited by Bitcoin fans following the successful launch of the ProShares ETF. The first fund, ProShares, BITO, launched earlier this week and has managed to reach close to $1 billion in trading volume as of this writing. Meanwhile, the price of BTC soared again, following the news, hitting a new high of $66,752 this week. On the flip side eight years had to pass for the U.S. regulator to approve the first BTC exchange traded funds. ETFs. The first to apply for such an ETF were the Winklevoss twins. The approval of the first ETF linked to Bitcoin futures has opened the door for dozens of these projects to start operations this year. Why you should care? A further 30 requests for ETF projects linked to digital currencies are awaiting decisions from the SEC. Over the next few days, investors expect the SEC to approve the Invesco Bitcoin Strategy ETF. The Advisor Shares Managed Bitcoin ETF, and the Galaxy Bitcoin Strategy ETF. Email newsletter join to get the flip side of crypto upgrade your inbox and get our daily coin editors picks 1x a week delivered straight to your inbox. Contact Form 7, you can always unsubscribe with just one click. Continue reading on Daily Coin. KuCoin has morphed its trading ecosystem into a socially focused one by reconstructing its app to fit the social expectations of crypto. They've introduced KuCoin as to give users a fluid trading experience that allows them to simultaneously learn crypto, making it easier for those without any crypto background to have a fear-free and engaging time. It all starts with the visual design of KuCoin as they've taken a light minimalistic approach to their app's architecture so users have an immediately intuitive experience when navigating and performing tasks. The social features of KuCoin S include copying and sharing trades, a section for users to receive popular coins by the most searches, and AI customized crypto news for users to like comment, and favorite. This feature alone aims to tackle problems traders go through daily such as being emotionally triggered by FUD and making trading decisions based on it. The sentiment of users giving their take on FUD news can quickly help traders dismiss it, 
KuCoin is committed to its vision of addressing the social pain points that stop people from comfortably entering crypto by introducing social trading features to their developed infrastructure of 8 million plus users. They've become the largest crypto exchange to take lead in crypto social trading. The merge of social and trading extends KuCoin's role in accelerating crypto mass adoption and popularizing the industry. Their goal of maximizing the social side of trading is intended to increase the participation of people getting involved in new crypto trends. CEO of KuCoin Johnny Lu discussed how previous trends were dormant until their social features got enhanced. In the early days of the internet, netizens used to surf the internet by browsing web news that's been posted online. Similarly, only single-player games were available in the early stage of the gaming industry. There was very little connection between each user at that time. KuCoin's CEO expects the crypto industry to evolve into its final form with socialization. The social extensions of KuCoin put them in the driver's seat to make crypto more user-friendly and increase the ways users can socially interact to achieve common goals and objectives. KuCoinus and its social features are currently available to KuCoin users who were given invite codes. They plan to permanently integrate KuCoinus into their app by the end of the year. The Russian government is considering a proposed project to mine crypto using associated petroleum gas APG. Local oil and gas companies in Russia want to operate crypto mining farms on their oil rigs using APG to generate power. Deputy head of Russia's Ministry of Industry and Trade, Vasily Shpak, presented the proposal to the Ministry of Digitalization and the Bank of Russia. According to a report by Commerçant, he filed the proposal on Wednesday, September 7 asking the officials to clarify their positions on the matter. Related reading, here is why the Russian crypto industry is trying to attract Bitcoin miners. Experts say that the project may be of interest to foreign investors primarily from China, where mining is prohibited. In Russia, however, the law regulating the circulation of digital currencies has not yet been adopted. The Ministry of Industry and Trade told Commerce that the initiative came from market participants' local oil and gas companies. The firm specifically proposed to use associated gas to power nearby data centers for mining crypto. This type of natural gas flare gas is a byproduct of oil extraction. It is a liability for oil drilling companies. Additionally, it releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But due to the high cost of proper gas infrastructure, it is often wasted through flaring, where the excess gas is burnt. Shpak's letter also suggests that the country starts manufacturing devices for turning flare gas into energy, Commerce wrote. The Russian government has reportedly attempted to reduce gas flaring to cut emissions. However, it has struggled to meet targets due to a lack of necessary infrastructure. In his proposal, Shpak noted that using the gas for crypto mining could potentially improve the efficiency of natural gas usage and thermal generation through hybrid modules of digital currency extraction. Related reading, Bitcoin miners and oil producers to discuss crypto mining opportunities A source close to the Ministry of Industry and Trade said that the proposal actually came from one of the large Russian oil companies. The company already has a small mining farm using flare gas but would like to scale up its crypto mining project. But because the mining business is in a legally gray zone, the company fears a negative reaction from the central bank. So it turned to the ministry who can discuss the risks with the regulator. The only Russian oil company to publicly launch a mining farm is Gazpromneft, the third largest oil producer in Russia. Its partner Vikas mined 1,8 BTC in just one month last year, according to Russian crypto news outlet Forklog. Gazpromneft itself declined to comment. The Russian central bank spoke to Conversant about the proposal. The law on digital financial assets introduces the concept of digital currency, but it stipulates that the procedure for its circulation should be regulated by separate laws. He also said that there is an ongoing discussion about approaches to regulation. The Ministry of Digital Affairs did not respond to the request. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.